Hello, my techie and non so techie friends. My name is Dan Duran. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Rhino Cybersecurity. This is Cybersecurity from the Trenches, and today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux 2021.2, released on June 1st, 2021, on macOS Catalina, that's 10.15.7. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, if you like my content, make sure you subscribe down below and click on the little bell so you can get notifications as soon as my videos are out. One thing that I forgot to mention is that we're going to be installing first uh, VirtualBox 6.1.26. Obviously, you can run Kali Linux, which is a Linux distro on a Mac OS. It doesn't make any sense. You have to have a virtual machine. Usually you can use uh, VirtualBox, which is free, or you can use VMware, whatever you like. In this case, we're going to be installing VirtualBox first. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is search for Oracle VirtualBox, and you'll land on this page here. Right, um, and just click on downloads. Then you'll see OSX host right here. So click on OSX host, and you also have to download the uh, the pack. So the Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. So if you want uh, your mouse and other um, appliances and devices to work peripherals to work with your VM box, so click on all supported platforms here and download it, that as well. In this case, we're not going to do any checksums because this is demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to go and straight away uh, install the uh, VirtualBox 6.1.26 on my device. All right, so this is where I double click on the VirtualBox package and I continue with my installation. All right, once installed, you'll see this window it says system extension blocked. So you have to open your security preferences for your Mac OS and go ahead, click on the little lock. All right, so I've done that. And you have to click on allow, right? So Oracle America Inc. and placeholder developer. Okay, once that is clicked, just leave the lock open, double click and do the installation again. Perfect, the installation was successful. All right, so now you have Virtual box. So usually what I do is just go back into my applications, find virtual box, put it in as one of my apps. Now I click on the extension pack. Right. So you'll see this little window that says install. So I'm going to go agree enter my password again okay installing extension pack and success all right so now we have virtual box installed that's the first step the second step would be to install kali linux so we just go to or search for kali linux downloads and here it is you should land on kali.org get dash kali and we're going to pick virtual machines so click on virtual machines and then click on virtual box and this is going to download the 3.7 gigabyte ova file so i'll fast forward this for a bit until 
we are done with the download. All right, so and now it should be installed. So I'm going to go into my downloads and yes, uh, here it is. So I'm just going to double click on it and this is going to prompt me to the appliance settings. So do I want a Mac address policy? Yes. Now your base folder, so set this up is usually users um, slash your username and then VirtualBox VMs. So I'll leave it the way it is. And additional options, import hard drives as uh, VDI. So I'll leave this checked, right? So then um, the name, you can change the name afterwards if you want, or you can click here. So I'm just gonna call it Kali Linux 2021.2, right? And the product is Kali Linux and I'm rolling 64-bit uh, RAM. I can increase this to 496 DVD sound card yes yes to all of these right primary group and then just import click on import yes i agree to the terms and conditions so this is going to take a little while six minutes so i'm just going to fast forward this until uh we install the entire thing so if you installed it correctly this is what you should see and all i have to do now is just press start and wait installing kali linux on VirtualBox on the mac os is extremely easy for windows there is a little more complication you have to set up different configurations but for mac os is extremely easy as soon as you install the ova then you can just run your application and then it should be working without any problems so here you just might want to click on the X's for your devices. Don't worry about those warnings. And here is the prompt for the login. Before I enter the credentials uh, on the Kali prompt, let me just give you a little bit of a background. So in 2019, you were able to type in root and then tour as a password to get into Kali Linux, but since 2020 and now 2021, Linux or Kali Linux actually creates a user for you so you don't have to use your root user inside of your Kali Linux. You can, of course, you can go into sudo su and, and go back to your root user, but this is just a precaution. Automatically, Kali Linux creates a user for you and the username is Kali, right? And the password is also Kali. So Kali and Kali, and that should log you in. And there it is. Now let's test it out to make sure that everything is working perfectly. First thing I'm going to do is uh, see if I have an IP address. So IF config, right? So there it is, INET. This is your local IP address. And I am also going to ping my Mac OS IP address. So let me just ping this to make sure that I'm communicating with my, my Mac OS as part of my NAT. And yes, it is, seems to be working fine. A uh, couple of things that I can do, I'm going to launch my browser to make sure that I have access to the internet. So here it is. Let's just go to any website. Let's see YouTube, see if YouTube is working and I'm also going to do fast.com to make sure that I have some speed, <laughs> some bandwidth. So I can see that I have 12, 11 megabits per second. YouTube is working very, very slowly. There it is, but I, I see it. Maybe it's because of the RAM that I have uh, put into uh, my box, which I can actually fix if I wanted to. The way you do it is just, you go into your settings here, right? So click on settings. And once you click on settings, then you'll be able to fix your system, right? So system and here you can increase. I can't increase it. You have to turn off this instance in order uh, for you to be able to change the RAM. Um, and of course I'm running one CPU. Uh, I can put it up to two CPUs. I only have eight CPUs on this machine. So that's why it's running a little slower. But for demonstration purposes, obviously I think this is more than good enough. I can access YouTube and other stuff. So thank you guys. I hope you had fun. Make sure you leave your comments down below and subscribe and also press that little bell so you can get notifications once more videos are out. So cheers. I hope you enjoy. Next time we'll look 
at my favorite tools for using in Kali Linux so we can start learning a bit more about uh, Kali and Linux in general. So see ya next time.